Obsession. Dave's Obsession. Dave's Obsession of a previous moment. Follow up. Hey everyone, Dave here, and a few months ago, I shared my love of Pistol Shrimps Radio, the hilarious podcast where Matt Gorley and Mark McConville call LA Women's Rec League basketball games, despite being massively underqualified and easily distracted. Big shot from number two. You had to be a big shot, didn't you? That's right. And have a heart attack, ack, 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 ack. You ought to know by now, this is Pistol Shrimps Radio, Dire Straits. We didn't start the fire, but we did start the action. And we're living here in Allentown. And since I released that video, the podcast has just kept going strong. It's gotten even better, even funnier, and even weirder. Like, we're talking weird mall kid level weird. That's right, Mark, and it reminds me of an old song. It goes a little something like this. Well, me and Cloris Leachman drinking barley pops at Fuckman's Leap. And the wonderful weirdness is spreading as more and more people are being introduced to this crazy podcast world every day but then it's easy to get sucked in with such a clear and simple hook. Pistol Shrimps Radio is a call-to-call -call action sports cast that we do because ladies play ball. So the way it works is there's a women's league recreational basketball team, and we make sure that people hear it. Where are we right now? At a place, the what's, park. What's the park? Indoor park. Do you know the name of the park, Pan Matt? Pacific Park. Okay, and that's in what state in the United States? Ours. It's California, Matt. California. The Golden Stage. Los, that's right. Yeah. Los Angeles, California, in the Golden Stage. The podcast was picked up by Earwolf, was acknowledged in a Nightline profile of the shrimps, and was even the subject of a segment on Last Call with Carson Daly. That Carson Daly always taking my ideas for video topics. Literally, every word coming out of our mouth right now has zero substance, but in tone, you think you learned something. Matt, I'm not even saying anything right now. Hair sometimes comes out of the head. Other times, it's on your body. Meat is a product. Eat it. China. <laughs> and while the shrimps themselves have had some wins and some losses since I last discussed them, the team continues to inspire. I've started attending games when I can, and they are always a fantastic time. But believe it or not, the shrimps have received even higher profile coverage than a 1 a.m. show on NBC. Director Brent Hodge of the Brony Story documentary and producer Morgan Spurlock of every documentary have told the story of the shrimps in a fantastic documentary film. The Pistol Shrimps documentary is a delightfully fun and surprisingly heartwarming look at the most famous basketball rec team in the world. I was fortunate enough to be able to attend a screening of the film in LA. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it made me go home and spend the next day watching the film again over and over on CISO. The film centers around the league and the community that formed around the league, including, yes, the podcast. Those of us who love the podcast will love hearing episodes synced up with footage of the games, essentially turning Matt and Mark into the film's narrators. Jesse Thomas with the free throw. It's good as gold. That ball just turned to a Wookiee and said, Chewy, we're home. And if you're looking for Shrimps Radio action you haven't heard before, there's new interview footage of Matt and Mark where they're a little more serious, but they still say the kinds of things they say. That ref's a horse's ass. Yeah, he's a or bunch what? of real rods, and he's nothing more than a thrift shop smell. But the documentary isn't just about the podcast. The two do make wonderful companion pieces to each other, but they come at it from different perspectives. They are both loving tributes to the team, but while the podcast takes a stance of willful obliviousness, refusing to research anything beyond what Matt and Mark see in front of them, the documentary is far more interested in learning. Maybe not learning about basketball, but certainly learning about the people who play it. The film profiles several of the shrimps individually, going into their lives, their desire to play basketball in the first place, and their other projects. Some of these other projects you may know about, like Amanda and Maria's writing career, or Molly Hockey's really impressive re-edits of The Bachelor. Others may be new to you. And as a fan of the podcast, it was a true pleasure getting to know the people behind the names I hear shooting hoops and kicking ass. Now when I hear Jesse Thomas dribble down the field or Hanma Boogie block a shot, I know a little bit more about the person behind the basketball action. In an attempt to have some semblance of a Hollywood narrative structure, the film is centered on the second season of the podcast, so regular listeners will already know the outcomes of the games. But the real story of the film is about these women from different walks of life forging their own community in a town where genuine friendships are notoriously difficult to come by. It's a lighthearted and humorous look at something that is genuinely moving and inspiring. When you're a kid in gym class, they keep telling you that sports are good for you because they teach you the value of cooperation and teamwork, and 
I've never found that to be true in practice until I discovered the LA Women's Rec League. Most of the sports I've encountered in my life ended up being more about petty competitiveness and violence and senseless aggression, but the LA Women's Rec League actually embody all the positive aspects that I've been told sports have all my life. Oh, sure, they still get competitive, but the sense of community overpowers all. We may not on the court, but off the court, we nice. If the heart of sports really is about camaraderie and teamwork, then this amateur league of inexperienced hobbyists embodies sports in their absolute purest form. So suck it, professional leagues. Maybe you could learn a thing or two. The Pistol Shrimps documentary is now streaming on CISO.com, NBC Universal's all comedy streaming service. You can get a free trial, and you absolutely should check it out. CISO has tons of classic comedies and new original comedies that are well worth your time. Some of them will be the subject of future videos, but even if all it had was the Pistol Shrimps documentary, it would still be worth checking out because this was the most fun I've ever had watching a documentary, and it honestly inspired me in ways I didn't expect. So you should absolutely check it out, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off.